こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Jordan, I'm planning a trip abroad soon, and I realized I need to brush up on some practical English phrases that might come in handy while traveling. Could you help me with that? Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go to phrases ready for your travels. 
They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. Absolutely, Alex. It's a great idea to have a set of go-to phrases ready for your travels. They can help you navigate airports, hotels, restaurants, and even help in emergency situations. Let's start with some basic but essential travel phrases. That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim? Or, could you direct me to the check-in counter? Are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, 
you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. 
Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? That sounds great. What should I know for arrival at the airport? When you arrive at the airport, you might need to ask for directions. Phrases like, where can I find the baggage claim, or could you direct me to the check-in counter, are very useful. If you're looking to catch a connecting flight, you might ask, where is the gate for the flight to Tokyo? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, 
you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Got it. And how about checking into a hotel? At the hotel, you'll want to know phrases for checking in and requesting services. For example, you can say, I have a reservation under the name John Smith. If you need something specific, you might ask, could I have an extra pillow, please? Or is breakfast included with my room? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten?
Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten?
Those seem straightforward. What about dining out? In restaurants, it's helpful to know how to order and ask questions about the menu. You could use phrases like, I'd like to order the steak, please, or what do you recommend? If you have dietary restrictions, it's important to ask, does this soup contain nuts, or is there dairy in this salad, or does the bread include gluten? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial. How much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial. How much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial. How much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial. How much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial. How much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial. How much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, 
or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial, how much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial, how much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial, how much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? I also want to shop and use public and public transportation. Any phrases for those situations? Certainly. For shopping, knowing how to ask for prices is crucial, how much is this, or can I get a discount, might come in handy. When using public transportation, you might need to ask, does this bus go to the city center, or where can I buy a ticket for the subway? And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective.
and if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. And if I need help or in an emergency. For emergencies, it's vital to know phrases like, I need help, can you call a doctor, or where is the nearest hospital? For less urgent help, saying, could I get some assistance, please, is polite and effective. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home.
These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. These phrases will definitely make my trip smoother. How can I practice them to make sure I'm ready? A good practice strategy is to simulate travel scenarios at home. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. 
Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. You could create flashcards with these phrases or use language learning apps that focus on travel-specific vocabulary. Try practicing these phrases with a friend or a language tutor who can give you feedback on pronunciation and usage. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. 
Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more prepared now, and practicing these phrases seems like a fun way to get ready for my trip. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, the key is confidence. Don't worry about making mistakes. Most people will appreciate your efforts to speak their language. Have a great trip, and enjoy using your new phrases. お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。